Hello everyone and thanks for watching Military Weapons, where today I'll tell you about the long-range, all-altitude, all-weather defense system, MIM-104 Patriot. It's a surface-to-air missile system and the primary of its kind used by the United States Army and several allied nations. It's manufactured by the U.S. defense contractor Raytheon and derives its name from the radar component of the weapon system. The AN-MPQ-53 at the heart of the system is known as the Phased Array Tracking Radar to intercept on target, which is a backronym for PATRIOT. The PATRIOT system replaced the Nike Hercules system as the U.S. Army's primary high to medium air defense system, and replaced the MIM-23 Hawk system as the U.S. Army's medium tactical air defense system. In addition to these roles, Patriot has been given the function of the U.S. Army's anti-ballistic missile system, which is now Patriot's primary mission. The system is expected to stay fielded until at least the year 2040. Prior to the Patriot, Raytheon was involved in a number of surface-to-air missile programs, including FABMDS, AADS-70, and SAMD. In 1965, the SAMD missile successfully engaged a drone at the White Sands Missile Range. During 1976, it was renamed the Patriot Air Defense Missile System. The MIM-104 Patriot would combine several new technologies, including the MPQ-53 Passive Electronically Scanned Array Radar and Track via Missile Guidance. Full-scale development of the system began in 1976, and it was deployed in 1984. Patriot was used initially as an anti-aircraft system, but in 1988 it was upgraded to provide limited capability against tactical ballistic missiles as PAC-1. The most recent upgrade, called PAC-3, is a nearly total system redesign intended from the outset to engage and destroy tactical ballistic missiles. When it comes to equipment, the Patriot system has four major operational functions, those being communications, command and control, radar surveillance, and missile guidance. The four functions combine to provide a coordinated, secure, integrated mobile air defense system. The Patriot system is modular and highly mobile. A battery-sized element can be installed in less than an hour. All components consisting of the fire control section and launchers are a truck or trailer mounted system. The radar set and launchers are mounted on an M860 semi-trailer, which is towed by Oshkosh M983 MTTs. Missile reloading is accomplished using the M985 MTT truck with a high ab crane on the back. This crane is larger than the standard Grove cranes found on regular M977s and M985s. The truck slash crane, called a guided missile transporter, removes spent missile canisters from the launcher and then replaces them with fresh missiles. Because the crane nearly doubles the height of the MTT when not stowed, crews informally refer to it as the scorpion tail. The standard M977 MTT with a regular sized crane is sometimes referred to as the large repair parts transporter. The heart of the Patriot battery is the fire control section consisting of the ANMPQ-53 or 65 radar set, the ANMSQ-104 engagement control station, the OE-349 antenna mast group, and the EPP-3 electric power plant. The system's missiles are transported on and launched from the M901 launching station, which can carry up to four Pac-2 missiles or up to 16 Pac-3 missiles. A Patriot Battalion is also equipped with the Information Coordination Central, a command station designed to coordinate the launches of a battalion and uplink Patriot to the JTIDS or MIDS network. Of its operational history, it served in the Persian Gulf War in 1991, Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2003, Operation Protective Edge in 2014, and the Syrian Civil War. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. Also, be sure to have the bell rung to be subscribed so that you can get more videos like this one in the future.